Yeah, okay. Um, hey guys, it's Justin from Preserve Skincare, and today I want to talk to you about textured skin and what you could do to treat textured skin. So just to give you a brief outline of what we're gonna cover, we're gonna talk about the different types of textured skin, the different ingredients to treat textured skin, and then I'm gonna walk you through my favorite products that I use to treat my own textured skin. I just want to get this out of the way, but because I'm not used to being on camera and I have, it's, I'm just filming on my phone and I have the camera facing me and I cannot stop looking at myself. I'm going to try really hard to look at the camera to keep eye contact, but if you catch me peering off to the side, it's, I'm, I'm watching myself. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's just get back to the topic and talk about the different types of textured skin. So starting from the two types of bumpy skin, and I think this is really what people see most often or what they're referring to when they say they have textured skin, are little bumps all along with their face. This could really be broken down into two different categories. And I would say that there's fungal acne and that's one type of bumpy skin. And then there's congested skin. The way that you can really differentiate these is that fungal acne, you tend to get these bumps all across your forehead and maybe in your T-zone. And for those of you who don't know, your T-zone is across your forehead and down the center of your face. And that's where you have the highest concentration of oil producing glands. And because fungal acne is caused by the Malassezia fungus and it feeds on oil, that's where it's gonna be most common on your skin. So you're gonna get these little bumps. And if you ever tried to pop these bumps, you would notice that there's nothing really to come out of them. Unlike congested skin, which is just clogged skin, where your pore gets clogged by a buildup of debris that could be clogged by skin cells, dirt, whatever it is, you're gonna get blackheads and whiteheads. And when you go to pop those, something's going to come out. And then moving away from bumpy skin to more uneven skin texture, there could be just a general dullness to the skin. Um, and that can be kind of hard to understand for some people. What that really means is that your skin is not really glowing in the same way that like most healthy skin would. I know that's not really that descriptive, but you know what your skin looks like when it's healthy. and. So when it starts to get dull, you should have some sort of way just within your knowing yourself to recognize what that means. And that, yeah, let me back up. Then there's just more uneven textured skin. And what that could be is just general dullness, which is where you just think that your skin is not as bright as it used to be. And I don't mean bright isn't lightly colored. I mean, it's not reflecting light the way it normally does. It just looks unhealthy in general, but not necessarily clogged or bumpy or broken out, just more or less dull, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And then there's things like discoloration, which is when you just have patches of maybe darker skin, lighter skin, but overall your skin is not one even color. That's discoloration. There's um, post acne scarring, which is where you maybe used to have acne or you still have it, but when your lesions are healing from acne marks, you get scars that could either dimple your skin or they could be a completely different color. And this is just from scar tissue formation that causes a general uneven texture to the skin. And then lastly, there is age associated texture. And this is commonly just wrinkles, going back to the dullness that's really common with age. And so it is discoloration. Depending on what type of skin texture you have is really going to dictate what types of ingredients you're going to want to use to treat that texture. So let's go down the list and talk about the different, um, I'm going to bring up five of my favorite ingredients for treating all of these issues and then we can move on to the products I like to use. First and foremost, and this is really important for treating almost any type of texture, but particularly congested skin, you need an exfoliant. 
and I always say reach for a chemical exfoliant. That means AHAs or BHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. AHAs are water soluble and those are glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, amongst others. What these are gonna do is they're gonna remove all of the gunk off of the surface of your skin. So if you have uh, congested skin that is more whiteheads than blackheads, or this is even would really work for fungal acne, you're gonna wanna reach for an AHA. They tend to be more gentle than BHAs and more effective for treating the really topical type of congestion. But if your skin is congested really deep down, you have a lot of blackheads, super oily skin, you might wanna go for a beta hydroxy acid. The beta hydroxy acid that we're all used to is salicylic acid, which is the common ingredient in a lot of drugstore anti-acne products. And what salicylic acid does is it dives deep into the pore. It's an oil soluble acid and it just really pulls all that gunk up and out and cleans your pore really deep down. The third ingredient on the list is going to be niacinamide. Niacinamide is vitamin B3, which is an amazing ingredient for treating dullness and um, hyperpigmentation. People often confuse it for a skin lightener, which it is not. Niacinamide evens your skin tone to one color. It does not generally lighten your skin, but it does brighten your skin, and people really confuse these two. Lightening your skin is when you change the color of your skin to a lighter color. Brightening is less measurable. It's actually just when people say my skin is dull or bright. And this is just like the general dewiness and glowiness and healthful look of your skin. Niacinamide is really great for accomplishing this glowing bright look because it's going to get rid of any particularly dark spots and it's gonna get rid of any light spots that are either caused by sun damage, post acne, scarring, or whatever. So niacinamide is just an amazing ingredient for this. And that's really why you're gonna find it in a lot of skincare products all across the market because the formulators realize what a valuable ingredient this is. So they will just almost turn to any product these days, which is honestly not a bad thing. I'm happy to see it in any product I use on my skin. Next, I would say every, and maybe I should have mentioned it first, everyone needs an SPF in their skincare routine. People, under, I think, are starting to understand the importance of wearing a sunscreen, but they don't really understand that it contributes to things beyond sunburn, skin cancer, and skin aging, which it does do all those three, but also can cause really horrible scarring when you do have acne, and it can cause things like acne in general to get worse, and the reason we're here today, it can cause skin texture to become really bad. So if you have, if you could just add an SPF to your arsenal, it's gonna be really effective in preventing things like discoloration, skin texture, um, wrinkling, dull skin in general. And then last but not least is urea. Urea is a compound that is naturally found as one of the natural moisturizing factors in our skin. And what it does is it's a humectant ingredient. And a humectant ingredient is an ingredient that has the ability to pull moisture and humidity out of the air and into your skin. When we start to age, our skin loses its ability to really hold onto moisture. So this skincare products targeted towards aging are gonna be um, formulations that really help our skin pull in moisture and keep it within the layers of the skin. Urea is like this, but also it has that edge to it that helps with texture. Urea is not only a humectant, but it's also a keratolytic. And a keratolytic is an ingredient that helps us shed the dead skin cells off the surface of our skin. So with urea, we're able to moisturize and exfoliate the top of our skin. So for people that have either dull skin or aging skin that have um, small fine lines, urea is gonna be a really amazing product to help um, 
pull in moisture and get rid of that dullness and the rough layer on the surface of our skin. So that concludes the five ingredients that I'm gonna mention in today's video. And then let's head on to the products that I recommend and I use for myself. It's important for everyone to start off by washing their skin. Some people could get away with washing their skin once a day, but I personally have really oily skin and I have to wash my skin twice a day. And I found when I try to lower it to one that my skin starts to get congested. So I wash morning and night and I tend to do my routine with my active ingredients at nighttime. My first ingredient that I use at night is this Paula's Choice 8% AHA Gel Exfoliant. It's 8% glycolic acid, which I mentioned earlier, and that really helps to just remove all of the gunk that the cleanser couldn't get from the surface of my skin. And when I say remove, I don't mean you're wiping it off the way you do with a cleanser, but what it does is it just relieves the pore from any topical um, debris that it has that might be clogging it. This product also has ingredients like sodium hyaluronate, also known as hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera juice that help hydrate the skin to quell any of the symptoms of irritation and dehydration that glycolic acid can have. So I find this product to be really good and gentle, but also if an effective exfoliant for me. But if you need something heavier, Paula's Choice, also has a BHA exfoliant that I will link down below. The second ingredient that I use is this Urea Repair um, Replenishing Face Cream from Eucerin. It's 5% urea, which is extremely hydrating and it really helps your skin calm down, but also exfoliate. I use this more in the winter months because I do tend to be oily and it is rather a rather heavy cream but there's something about the exfoliating effect of the urea that does not make my skin break out or get congested, but it also becomes extremely hydrated and soft and glowy. I just, I don't know, it's my favorite moisturizer. I really love it. It can be hard to find in the States. Uh, they sell it almost every in any drugstore in Europe, but if you look hard, you could find it. And then, maybe I should have mentioned this before, again, <laughs> is my sunscreen. I use the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 sunscreen for acne prone skin. And I love this sunscreen. It has niacinamide in it, 5% um, niacinamide. Niacinamide is great in sunscreen because first off, the sunscreen is preventing you from having those issues with discoloration or aging skin and the niacinamide is at the same time treating anything that has already happened to your skin. So any discoloration that you have, you know, we all have it in varying amounts, just depending on sun exposure and just the way that our skin is in general and our predisposition to discoloration, the niacinamide really is getting in there and treating that and just bringing you this beautiful glow that happens when you put on the sunscreen. And then you feel just safe and protected from the SPF that it's not gonna get worse and that you can really go out in the sun and enjoy yourself. So I really recommend this routine. It's done wonders for my skin. It's really cleared up a lot of texture that I've had on my forehead for a long time before this routine. And for the most part, it's really gone away. So highly recommend checking it out. If you are curious to learn more about textured skin, I will link my blog on the subject down below. There I list more types of textured skin problems. There are 10 ingredients that I list to treat it and tons more recommended products. So if you don't feel that my routine here is something that would work for you, there is something for sure on the blog post that you will find speaks towards your condition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, this is, again, Justin from Preserve Skincare. Have an amazing day, guys.